So have you ever wondered if it's possible to complete the Blade Ball Battle Pass without spending Robux? Well as you guys can see I have completed it 2 out of 5 times and I guarantee you other than buying the Battle Pass I have not spent any Robux on getting tiers or anything. And I'm going to show you guys how you can complete all your quests. So basically the battle pass starts at basic. You have 0 levels when you start and it starts at 40 levels. The second wave is wave after you complete the first one gets to 20 levels and the third one once you complete that gets to I'm guessing it gets to 10 levels. I'm not certain on this. I have not reached the third wave yet. I am close. So when you buy advance you get 10 tiers and that one will give you 10 levels right at the bat but this is video if you mainly can't get advanced or like you have advanced but can't seem to finish the quest. The, quest, the XP system works in one way. It, it just gives your total XP and you have to reach the next amount. You don't have to get 2000 more XP to reach the next level. That's what I thought too. As you can see I'm at 1845 out of 2000. If I claim anything and go past this I'll be at 2000 out of 2150. So let's get on to the main point of this video. The quest. So there are two ways you can get XP. You can do daily challenges and you can do seasonal challenges. The daily challenges reset every 24 hours and they can give you a bunch of things they reset at 2 p.m eastern time i have not finished my daily quest just yet but it's pretty easy to complete as you can see i'm done these two but sometimes it'll show that it's done but you can't claim it it's because you have already claimed these so you'll get quests such as eliminate people win two team game modes win eliminate people in four player modes eliminate in normal servers uh, pro servers ranked and play game for total and use certain abilities and the seasonal challenges consist of eliminations so ranked modes logging in reaching diamond eliminating people in ranked playing to for a total of 2000 using phantom ability getting 50 wins in normal win and getting 500 wins for the wins there's a specific method that i researched this method is what put most of these people on the leaderboard and it, if you want to get on it using this method you could probably get on the leaderboard in, in a week if you follow it properly because in one hour I gained 100 wins and I'm not even joking with you I gained 100 wins in one hour and 500 wins in one day without even focusing so like I focused for three hours gained 500 wins if you guys want to see this I will be making a video on this so make sure you guys turn on notifications so for the killing, eliminating, winning, eliminating and getting points and using abilities, the easiest method to do these is private servers. What you want to do is you want to get a certain amount of people. You could get, get if it's just eliminating a certain amount of people, then you could just get an alt account, which you can go to. So you want to go to Windows here, you want to search up Microsoft Store. Once Microsoft is loaded up, once Microsoft is loaded up, you want to go to gaming and you want to search up here roblox once you see that this is completely free you can play this game and the best part about this it's it won't log you off of this screen so you can play two accounts in one sitting let me show you here i have one of my alt accounts and it's on the same device as you can see here if i load this in it's on the exact same device and i can move around do anything in this so using this method, you can go into a private server with your alt account and just keep on eliminating it to get kills. Note that on private servers, you kills only count, wins do not count on private servers. So you cannot use this method for wins. After doing that, you can complete all your elimination ta tasks pretty quickly. Now your next tasks are probably surviving, which means you have to be inside the ring for a certain amount of time. The easiest way to complete this one is going to your skills and unlocking the invisibility skill. The next step is getting the auto clicker which I will link in the description. No auto clicker is not bannable. It is said by the devs that it, it, they do allow it in their game. Of course it would make the game boring but it is allowed in the game. So using the auto clicker method you turn off AFK. You don't put AFK on because you have to be surviving not in the game. And AFK world does not work for this. Once that is done, you want to leave your auto clicker on the Q ability so it keeps on pressing it. So whenever you get into the game, you can just press it. See, I just press it and I turn invisible. 
Sometimes it won't work on the first try, but it'll work because it has to let your character load in a bit. But you can tap it. They do allow it. This is the fastest method in getting survival time without having to play the game all the time. Because this one will add more time to your survival, put you further in the thing. So if one of your quests is last five players standing five times, this will also help you while you're doing it AFK. So using those two methods, you can already complete all your elimination tasks and your survival time tasks. So for abilities, some don't work when you use auto clickers, such as dash, because you have to be moving when you use this ability. But others do like quad uh, platform, super jump, force field, telekinesis, stuff like that. They do work. Now wins, you'll have to watch my future video on this because this one we need a more in-depth report on how the wins work in blade ball so for ranked what you want to do is if you don't care about your elo right now you want to go into a low elo because as long as you have a bit of skill low elo players normally don't know how to play they're new they'll get better but they're pretty new you want to try putting your elo as low as possible to the point where you basically win all your games once you have low elo you can just complete all your ranks such as win three in a row get that many eliminations in ranked parry the ball that many times in ranked i have not done this method because i do care about my elo but if you can, but if you already have a low elo and can earn that back easily i would recommend this method bef before you go into pro servers because it gets harder and harder to do this okay so there's one more thing there's a uh, thing such as eliminate seven people in a single match for that you will need multiple accounts or multiple friends you can use a private server method but if you cannot find people to help you on this join our discord there may be someone that can help you and if there is no one if i'm available i will help you guys so join our discord and you can get get help on blade ball and other games thank you guys for watching if this did help you please subscribe and comment down below any questions you have that that i may not have explained i will try my best to reply to every single comment and help you guys if i do not reply again join my discord Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.